how to use spatial awareness to manipulate defenders and make better decisions. The first thing I want to point out is the positioning of the striker. So a lot of the times we're off the ball and what's really done well here is by creating the depth and stretching the field, it's now putting doubt into this defender's mind, which is just stretching them and making them aware of this player, which is causing him to potentially forget about the line of this player. Okay, so it keeps him a bit wider, keeps him out the circle, and now his focus and attention is obviously this player here. The second thing I want you to note is the player on the ball. Okay, so as he gets the ball, notice his angle of his run. Okay, so you see where the defender is at the moment, and his angle of his run is towards the baseline, which gets this defender to take a couple of steps over to the left. Okay, and what that does, it just opens up the space and that passing line through to the uh, striker in the circle. Next, I want you to pay attention to the striker in the circle. Okay, watch his head at this moment. You can see he's pre-scanning to see where that space is. That pass hasn't been played yet. So he's looking over his shoulder to see how much time and space he has, and he's starting to prepare for what he's going to do if that ball comes to him. The inside pass is then played to the free player in the circle who's the most dangerous and currently not being marked. Okay, and then as he receives it, notice his first touch puts the ball in a position to be able to take the shot quickly and straight away. All right, so he's not stopping it and then moving the ball. He is aware of that space because of his pre-scan and his first touch puts the ball in a position to be able to shoot as quickly as possible. So you can see as he receives it, he puts it into place and I want you to then pay attention to the change of his grip. Okay, so you can see how low his right hand is here on the stick. Okay, and as he prepares for his tomahawk, notice his hand movement, his grip change, and he starts to prepare for the toma. And as the player comes to pressure him, he wants to get his shot away quickly. He wants to be able to lift the ball over the stick. Okay, so his connection is made below the sweet spot on the ball. Okay, so if you want to hit it flat, you want to be hitting it in the midline of the ball. Here he's hitting below the line of that midline, so below the sweet spot, which is going to allow the ball to lift up. Okay, so notice how low he gets, his hand position, the stick contact with the ball. Hits it underneath, which allows it to lift up. And it carries on into the top corner, making it really difficult for the goalkeeper to make the save. So there was a really great example of how you can use spatial awareness to manipulate your players and improve your decision making.